Namaste. Uh, ten minutes, the time given for me, but it's not even enough for a spider to complete its web. <laughs> Still, I'm confident you will be getting trapped in spider web. Welcome to the world of spiders. Whenever I discuss on spiders, I usually encounter a question. Spiders, what benefit it has? Oh, yuck, creepy. Oh, the moment I see, I feel like killing it. These are all the expressions what I get. And I take this opportunity, I take this opportunity to show the wonderful world of, wonderful world of spiders and its help for our ecosystem. See here, yes. yeah. See here a spider feeding on a cricket. There is a fishing spider and there is a spider called huntsman spider feeding on a kettle. Okay, these two are, so these two insects are leaf eaters. You can see the hole there. It is being fed by that and spider is feeding on it. Scientists estimate that globally spider feed, feed around 800 million ton of food. That food is nothing but the insect which we label it as pest. In another estimation, it is said that in an acre of land, there will be minimum 1 lakh spider. If at all, a spider feed at least 3 food every night. In that process, it will be eliminating more than 3 lakh insects in a day or a night. That's the benefit of spider. Look here, a spider called Paralexia, which has made a web last night and caught almost 100 plus mosquito. And in the center, and in the center, there is a grasshopper, you can see there, I think the pointer is not working exactly. In the center, there is a grasshopper. So, okay, you can see the enormous uh, capacity of a spider. Here, there is a spider called Chikunia with its juvenile spider leaf. The smaller the juvenile and center there is a spider called Chikunia which has wrapped more than 15 mosquitoes. I usually say, whenever you have Chikunia spider in your backyard, don't worry about Chikungunya. Yes, the vector bone diseases like malaria, filaria, Chikungunya or even the latest Zika virus can be controlled by these spiders along with frogs, tadpoles and fishes. So this is the biological importance and how it controls the insects everything. But other than role in maintaining the ecological system, spiders play a very important role in rainwater harvesting. Look at this brown spider here with a burrow. In my organic form, Indraprastha, at least in a square meter of land, there will be minimum 6 to 8 brown spiders. Each of these spider makes a tiny burrow which can be even a feet deep long and these all are rainwater harvesting pits. Even in this present summer, our form, we can dig, dig a hole and even in a four feet we can get groundwater. That's the capacity of spiders. You can appreciate here a spider called Hippasa and you can see the amount of water collected in its web and there is a funnel in the center. So all this water percolates inside and that will help in elevating the groundwater table. Yes, web plays a very important role. Especially you can observe in winter, there will be no rain, there will be shortage of rain. All this atmospheric dew will be collected in this web and as sun riser, they will, they will form a small tiny water droplet and again percolate inside and that will be the uh, source of water for the plant which are thriving for water. Nature, you will know that the spider is very important to maintain its ecological balance. So, hence, nature has gifted spider with many superpowers. It's not like a superpower what we have and all. It is a superpower where a spider can dress like anything, they can mimic anything, and they can adapt for any situation, and even they can dress up for any situation. Let me show one by one. Camouflage. Can you see a spider here? If I go for a combing operation, those two army persons have already talked here. So if I go for a combing operation, can I go with bright dress? Enemies can spot me and kill me out. Same thing, spiders has, cannot exhibit themselves on a tree bar. They should merge with the surrounding. 
The thing is, even we have to merge with the nature. Similarly, spider is setting an example to merge with the nature. And here, a sp spider called Phaseus, a jumping spider, has merged with the lichen. Well, lichen is a growth with a mixture of algae and fungi. So you can see lichen all around. You can see the lichens here and the spider is merged and it is not shown, seen by any predator like birds or gecko. Yes, with a great difficulty you would have spotted a spider in the, my earlier side. Can you see a spider here? Here, a spider called lichen mimic huntsman spider or pandarestus. See, this whole thing is a spider, you can see the legs there. It is almost mimicking the moss in the tree bark. So exact mimicry, no birds, no reptiles, even we can't spot a spider here. Okay, I think after saying, you would have spotted here again. Can you see a spider here? I think after looking, my previous side, you would have managed to say the left side, there is a huntsman spider. But you should believe me, there are 200 plus spiders in this slide. You can see the white exact above and all the small mustard-like creatures which have just emerged are the spider rings. So the spider, mom spider itself cannot be spotted and the juveniles still can't be spotted. Take a blade of grass while going out from this campus and just rub randomly to the tree bark. You can see the mat rust by the spider which was confidently hiding. Again, it will do a mat rust and again it will become in invisible. This is a two-tailed spider which is right there in every, every tree bark. Tree stump. It is a good idea to mimic a tree stump. Whenever, if, whenever you, feel, you feel like a continuation of tree stump or a dry twig, no predator will spot you. Oh, it's a dry thing, no need of eating, so that they will reject. Similarly, when it mimics a tree stump, either, even the birds can't identify that it has their food, hence it escapes from the mouth of predator. The polities is the best and you can see a lantana bar, lantana twig here and the left side what you are seeing is the spider which is mimicking exactly the lantana twig. You can see a mom spider, the big mother spider called polity which is looking exactly at you. Even while photographing I saw only this female spider but there is a female spider right down there. There is a male spider which is hiding 100% camouflage. Only while post processing the image, I found there was a male and even I didn't see it during the field visit. That's the brilliant camouflage you can see in nature. Dull mimic. Oh shit, that's what we say when seeing a dull. So any bird poop or any poop we won't touch. Same feeling the birds has, lizards has, all those things. So they won't touch the poop. So mimicking a duck, duck is an excellent idea and a great gift by nature. So the duck mimic, they easily uh, escape from the eyes of predators. This spider is called Basilobus, make a beautiful hanging web during night and feed on mosquitoes, moths and flies. There is another duck mimic called a fine arachne, an ambush predator. This actually mimics bird duck, stays along with the bird duck, and stays as if it is looking like a burden and patiently wait till a bottle fly comes to lick that burden. When the, bur when the bottle fly comes and start licking at the poop, this slowly hugs and feed on it. That's the capacity. Again, look at the dress what nature has gifted. Snail. Oh, the same yuck feeling again we get when seeing the snail. The sticky insects, the sticky, sorry, it's a molluscum again. The sticky molluscum is not food for any predator. So easily, when mimicking a snail, it can be happily feeding on other predators. During night, again, snail mimic looks like a uh, double uh, snail. And from the one side, it, it looks like some snake. So this all, uh, whatever, it again, the perception matters. Uh, like that it mimics and happily feeds on the predators. Any pungent thing, we won't touch any food, any dishes, anything. If anything pungent, we will not touch. Similarly, mimicking a pungent beetle, the ladybird beetle, is a very good idea where birds again won't feed on it. Here is a ladybird beetle mimic with eight eyes and eight legs. World of ant mimic. There is a partnership of 300 million year, a million year where these both are co-evolved. The left side, you can see a weaver ant. Right, there is a weaver ant mimicking spider. 
See, when we all are united like this, no one, one, can, no one can harm us. So, we, they will be staying away. So, ants are, are known for their unity. When they are united, no predators will come near them. Similarly, while dressing like an ant, this spider get the protection. Hence, the, these, all these jumping spiders are mimicking an ant. I am working on a hypothesis where how many number of ants exist, that many ant mimic spider exists. So you can see many, many, in, especially at least 10 or 20 in your backyard. So this is a female in a sack and a male which is guarding the male, the female. Amicia, it's again another ant mimic spider from a family different called Thomasidae, a crab spider. This actually gets safety from the ants, but it's a bit cunning, you know. It's actually feeding on a river ant and down part you can see a jackal fly. Jackal means it's an opportunistic fly which is again taking its share from the prey what the spider has caught. So this is the beauty of nature, everything lives in harmony. Stachotyphus, this is called mother of ant mimicry. I think you may guess that oh, all three are ants, what is there? The only the middle one is the ant called polyranches, and the other two are our ant mimic spiders from family, different family again called Corylidae. The first record from India just two months back I got from my, my place. Ant mimic spider, you never you can't even believe this is a spider. Mirror spider. Now don't please comb your hair looking because it's just 5 and tiny, very tiny ant hunter and see how we have evolved with the glass piece, everything with embroidery in few recent years. But from 100 to 300 million years back only the nature has gifted with a beautiful grass and bush dress and you can see that here and this can contract and retract the glass to fool the predators. I want you all to appreciate how nature is gifted with the superpower of mimicking a blade of grass. Here is an Ariamnus which looks like exactly like a blade of grass. I can talk hours together only on this spider, looks very thin but very clever, hunts on majority of spiders. World of thorns. Imagine I having the thorn in my uh, body. And uh, no, you all will be, you will not approach me. Same feeling, the birds, the any, any food with the tawny things, the birds won't have, go near. So, these are daredevils which have thorns in their abdomen and daily they construct web during daytime. But rest other spiders will be doing the web during night times. Here are few thorn mimic spiders. The other first one is the gastera kanta. Gaster means abdomen, kanta means thorns. Makarakanta, Gashtarakanta Kuhli and Kalakanta Brivispana. So these are the wonderful mimicry what you can see every day in your backyard and you should have eye. Other than looking at the cellular spider what is there and you are grooming daily, just open eye, open up your eyes and look at the nature. There are many diversity. Till now in the world we have 51,500 spiders. In India we are having 3,000 spiders. In Karnataka we have more than 600 spiders. And I think in your backyard there will be minimum 30 spiders and just go and watch from today. So, so, our spider is not beautiful. I encourage, as the introduction said, I encourage you all to take up spider watching as a hobby, just like bird watching. And there should be some trigger point for initiation and this spider can be one. So, before concluding, I say, seeing a spider is not a problem, it becomes problem when it disappears. Thank you.